guys. Merry Christmas. <laughs> yes, I have not taken down my Christmas tree. I'm going to do that right now. But before I do that, I'm going to do a speed clean of the tree. Not clean. Put away the tree and clean up the family room. Um, yeah, just why haven't I taken down the tree? Because I'm a procrastinator. In case you didn't know that. Anyway, before I do that, I'll, I never showed my tree and whatnot. Um, so I'm going to show it real quick. Not that it's that big of a deal. Anyway, so, um, I finally put my tree up, like, the Wednesday before, um, Christmas. And I invited my nieces, who are seven and five over, and they literally decorated the tree all themselves. I just put it together, and I, you, I'm so upset with this. I just bought this tree a couple years ago, and it's, um, like a frosted Douglas fir or something like that. And half of the lights, you can see, it's not lit up here and down there. So, I'm gonna, I never got around to fixing it. Um, my niece's niece and her husband have one of those, uh, I don't know what you call those things. But you, um, it's to fix all the bulbs. You, you put it near the, um, the wire to see which bulbs are out to how to replace them. So I'm going to borrow that next year from them or buy my own. Maybe that's what I should do and fix all the lights. But anyway, so I just gave them all the ornaments and they put them on and you could see that. Look, this one's not even hanging up. It's just resting on the branch and this is resting on the branch. Anyway, they had a ball and you might have saw my Instagram post. They really enjoyed it. They say, this is the first time we got to decorate the tree all by myself. Oh my gosh, look, the star is falling off of there. So, I have some cute little ornaments. It's kind of like a rustic, um, woodsy theme. There's a sled. There's, that, that was, uh, a frosted reindeer with snow on it. Um, that's a really old ornament from a long time ago. Here's a snowman. Um, another reindeer. I'm trying to look for the bell. A bell. Oh, here it is. There's a bell down here that I gave to my son. My husband and I gave to my son when he was like four. It was a, a bell in a box and it was a last box behind a tree kind of like the story of the Polar Express if you're familiar with it so it was from Santa Claus's sleigh anyway he really enjoyed it oops that year sorry about that and there's some angels and just pine cones that I sprayed that um, snow stuff on it and there's an owl and there's an ornament that I made. This is an ornament that my niece made. I hope this is focusing. A snowflake. I got those from Target. There's some more snowflakes down there. And I just have some ribbons tied on the tree. Another sled. Anyway, yeah. Another sled over here. Um, it's kind of hard to see. I should have filmed this earlier when there was some sunlight coming in, but I didn't. Alright, so, and then there's a whole basket of ornaments that never got put on, because they were done after a while, and uh, I just slid into the tree, and I never got to it, so. So, I put all of my ornaments in Ziploc bags, and um, the breakable ones, I just take some plastic those plastic grocery bags and stick them in the zip up bags so they don't break and then I put them all in my box and which worked out good because um this year all I did was my tree and the nativity scene up there that I'm going to show you real quick and um so I didn't have to go digging through all the boxes in the attic to find the ornaments so that was perfect I actually packed my Christmas stuff away really really good last year. I did it room by room So I had a box for the family room a box for the entryway a box for the dining room or a bin one of those plastic bins a bin for the staircase and So to make it really easy this year, <laughs> I never ended up getting stuff out, but 
it'll still be there next year. All right, I'm going to, I need to get the ladder so I can show you the nativity scene up here. Okay, so this is the nativity set, and um, the story behind this is that me and my husband um, made this. He was, he and I, well, he was <laughs> stationed at Fort Benning, Georgia, when he was in the army, obviously, and they had an awesome wood shop and ceramic shop, and we both made these together. Did we pour them, babe? Yep. We poured the molds and everything and then painted them and gave this to my mom and dad for a Christmas present, and it made my mom cry. Anyway, <laughs> my mom's now in the nursing home. You might know that. And my dad is almost 80. Anyway, he went ahead and said we could have it. I think it was like a year or two ago. I don't remember how long we've had this. So, um, oh, and we... It took us a while to make these, as you can know. And when we gave it to them for Christmas one year, we hadn't finished it when we brought it down with us from Georgia. And, like, <laughs> the whole family, um, my sister and, I don't know, came over, my sister and my brother and, I don't know, came over and helped us finish it quickly before Christmas. My mom came home from work and... It was sitting on the fireplace, and she just loved it anyway. So they got many years of enjoyment, and lucky enough, it never, never, not one piece broke. And these are pieces are huge. I don't know if the fit, the camera is going to focus on this well. So we painted it, and then you put like an antiquing over it, kind of covers up all the mistakes and stuff, and um, makes it look really nice. So there's an angel, wise man, shepherd. Mary and Joseph, baby Jesus, another shepherd, another camel, wise men, a cow, and another wise man, and another matching um, camel. Anyway, so I'm going to take this down. It's done. I just need something on the end there. I don't, what the heck did I have before? I don't remember. Anyway, so this all fits nicely in this bin. I can't open it up. And you saw that I just used the past plastic bags and then the um, manger fits right on top. And this does not go in my attic because I don't want to bring it up and down in the attic and tempt it to break so it will go in the garage. All right, now I gotta go get the box, the tree box, out of the garage to put the tree in.
the tree is done. It's not fitting in there good. It just folds up. The branches don't come out. The, the, it comes in three parts and it just folds up. So I'm going to have Hubby fit in there a little better, but he doesn't want to be on camera. So I'll do that off camera or he'll do it off camera. So I like to separate my ornaments into categories. <laughs> I know, anal, whatever. <laughs> but I have a reason for that. That's so that when I put them on the tree, I like put all my bells on first so I can be evenly dispersed on the tree and then all the bows and all the pine cones. These need, uh, next year I'll be buying um, another of that canned snow to spray on there because it clearly fell off. And then all the bulbs and all of the animals and all the snowflakes and angels. And so those are all going in separate bags. And this is a beautiful ornament that I've had for a really long time. It's a Florida globe I guess it has sand in there and shells and I got it from one of my preschoolers so I've had it for a really long time I even remember the um the child that gave it to me his name is Justin Murphy I remember him I can't believe I remember that it was a long time ago I think he's a year younger than my son so he would be or two so he would be like 27 my son is 29 and then these are just miscellaneous so I'm going to put them each in a separate Ziploc bag and then they will go into the box with the Christmas tree and the Christmas tree will cushion them the only, so they won't break. The only ones that are breakable are these and I put them in the bag with um, those grocery bags to cushion it and then this gets wrapped really good in its separate bag and yeah. Alright so let me do that and uh, yeah and then I gotta clean up this room. Okay, they're all packed up neatly in this bag, and honestly, I think some of you are probably cringing like, oh my god, that's how she packed her ornaments? Yes, that's how I pack my ornaments. I have seen people's videos on how to pack ornaments, and they use two or three bins, and then the egg cartons, and then they put the little or each ornament in one of the little egg cartons, and yeah, I guess that would work if you have a lot of breakable ornaments, but honestly, this works just fine. This They don't break. Uh, I, I swear. <laughs> I don't know. Occasionally, I guess over the years, they might break, but these kind of things, that doesn't matter. I don't, I, they're fine, really. It's just fine. So now I just need to put them in here as soon as hubby comes over here and fixes this. <laughs> Come fix it. Okay? Huh? Come fix this. Tree. all packed up now I just got to clean this up I did vacuum over here so I could put this lamp over here this lamp my son gave it to us for Christmas I think he intended it to use out on the patio because we don't have a good patio lamp and hubby sits out there and does his hobby sometimes it's cool though but I don't want to keep it out there the weather will get to it can't leave stuff out in Florida but it has I'm trying to show you it has a foot thing to turn it on. Why is it not turning on? Huh. Babe, it's not turning on. Oh, there it goes. Okay. It's just so bright out. I can't see it. Anyway. Kind of looks like a telescope. A little bit. And I went ahead and put this horse up there. And put the lantern back over there. This was on my front porch. A while back ago there's nothing on my front porch nor now since ever since hurricane matthew i never put this stuff back on the porch 
And I don't know, I like to change things up a little bit. I need something else there though. I'm not liking those two little candlesticks. I'll figure it out. All right, so I'm gonna clean. I think I'm gonna take the blankets. I want everything to be all nice and fresh. So I think I'm gonna take both blankets and put them in the washing machine. All right, I need to clean this up. Everything's all cleaned up, right? Just don't look over here. <laughs> I was going to clean up that mess, but this room's clean. That's all I'm doing today. Now, I didn't pull out the couch and vacuum behind the couch or under the cushions. Um, I really could have vacuumed the carpet better, but my vacuum cleaner is not working. The end of the hose keeps pulling off, and I really need to order a new one. I don't even have one of those. I have a beta bar attachment thing, but that doesn't work. And I am a procrastinator and I have not ordered it yet. So, and like that window probably could be Windex. And I just lightly dusted. And, um, yeah. So, but it's good enough. It looks pretty good. I mean, hubby came in here and says, oh, wow, you're doing deep clean. Yeah, not really. <laughs> it looked like it. Nobody wouldn't even know unless they took off my couch cushions and see the dirt. Or behind the couch. Whatever. It's good enough for now. Alright, so, um, what time is it? It is... It is like, I'm a hot mess. My face is all red. I don't know, I thought I was over this sweating profusely thing. It is 5.19. Yes, I got a really late start this morning. Um, for those of you who were saying that they were glad I feel better, I do feel better, but um, my energy is like, in the mor in the afternoon, in the morning, like this, I don't have any energy. It's, it, it comes and goes. Yesterday, I did have energy kind of all day. Today, I didn't. I don't think I got out of the bed until like 10.30. And then I was farting around all on the YouTube and watching videos and didn't really get started cleaning this until about 3-ish. 3.15, something like that, putting away everything that take me two hours to do that that's ridiculous anyway i don't know if that was how long that took me or not so anyway so i wanted to say back up to the beginning of the video <laughs> that i had a really good time with my nieces that uh so i ended up having a really good christmas i don't know something kicked in the last couple of days probably because they were here children bring up your spirits so they came over and decorated the tree and they had a sleepover. I hadn't had a sleepover with them for like a, a over a year or almost a year, I guess. Um, so that's a really long time. And it was just the two girls. Those are my grandnieces. Um, again, I'm really close to my niece. She's like a daughter to me. And we decorated a tree. And then we went for a golf cart ride in the dark and looked at all the Christmas lights around the neighborhood. That was really fun. The, the girls really enjoyed it. And hubby happened to be on a um, business trip that week. So it was nice to have the company. And then it was actually cool. We went for a golf cart ride with our blankets. And we came back and we had hot chocolate and watched a movie. And they went to bed. And so that was fun. And the mom came and picked them up early the next morning because I had somewhere to go. And then I was, and so the next day was Thursday. I don't know, I like, did some stuff and I had a um, Christmas Eve party at my sister's and I helped her with a drinking station on that. I posted pictures on Instagram. Anyway, all in all, it's a pretty good Christmas, but I kind of crashed and burned the day after Christmas for like two, three days on the couch watching TV. But I can feel myself slowly getting better, but, um, in fact, I'm kind of hyper sometimes. <laughs> and I can't control, control it a little bit. I'm like, my head's like spinning 
and then other times it's not. Anyway, whatever. That's it for this video. I finally put my Christmas stuff away. Maybe I can feel rejuvenated because I felt really rejuvenated with my craft room. If you didn't see that video, um, I did two videos on that and I'll put the link down below. Uh, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and as always, enjoy your day. Thank you.